Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Frostpunk. So, I have uh, pretty much rebuilt my PC after I wiped it to solve a problem, which has solved it. Yay. <laughs> but in doing so, I, uh, I discovered a little thing that has happened with not just this save, not just the save game for Frostpunk, but a number of my save games on Steam in general. Um... If you watched the last episode of Frostpunk, you will notice that we finished on, I think it was day 15 or 16. We're now not on day 15 or 16. <laughs> so when I loaded this up, this was on day 9, which is definitely not where I left it. <laughs> but regardless, um, I did the same as I did the last time my save game broke. I uh, got my playlist of videos up and I rebuilt the town as best I could. It's a bit of a different layout, but we've pretty much got the same buildings. Um, we're pretty much at the same stage of like searching and everything. These guys are coming back with a bunch of people and some food and really needed three steam cores. And so we're just going to rock and roll. We've got a long, long time. I think it's like day 30 or 40 or something that the, uh, the storm front comes. So we've got a long ass time before any of that happens. So, we have the Londoners currently to deal with. I want to get my stockpile of coal rocking and rolling because we need that ASAP. Uh, we need to get more houses built. I'm not sure where I want to build them. I can't build them at all at the moment because we need more steel. Are these running full steam? They are running full steam. Uh, it's so tempting to do the... Um, as the expanded uh, I want to do that's gonna piss people off uh, but I don't I don't want to use it uh, I want to use the extended shift is what I want to use which I think adds on like I think it adds on like an hour in the morning and an hour at night or something like that something along those lines uh, I don't think there's anything more in here that we're really gonna use because nothing increases Everything just reduces discontent. Yeah, nothing nothing in this tree anymore gives us hope. And this, all this stuff does, goddammit. Um, okay, so that actively raises hope. Oh, sorry, that passively raises... Is that the way it works? Passively and actively? I don't know. That continuously raises hope, so I think it's passive. Um, in nearby workplaces and people nearby. That is going to be doing once a day. So it'll be active while it's active. <laughs> and not working while it's not active. I think that's usually what active and not active mean. <laughs> oh, God. But I, I seem to remember that the Faith Keepers is like going down like the Knights Templar route, which is I do not want to be going down that route. We'll see. I think I'm probably going to do this one because it is passive and it's going all the time. I think I'll probably do that one. Right, what do we need? Food is fine. Well, not fine, but the, the hunter's huts are going out. So that will be fine in the morning. Our medical situation is slowly solving itself. Um, we do actually believe have infirmary yet. So as soon as, we get, as soon as these guys come back, then we can build an infirmary. So that will solve that. And then we just need steel, basically. That's all we need. So let's go from... Seven, day 17 was like almost over, so let's not count that. So let's go from... Do our normal four or five. So let's try and go from day 18 to like 23, 24-ish. Well, that's not five days, is it? That's six. <laughs> God, I can't count. Right. Let's aim for day 22. If it gets to 22 and like yeah, we haven't been recording for 10 thousand hours then we'll go for day 23 that's how we'll do it to be honest with you the gain on that isn't bad it's really really not bad the livable is i've got what one day left yeah it's easy because the temperature's not going to drop so that's fine right so it's these guys coming in that i need to build houses for which is going to be a pain in the ass uh you can upgrade because you're on the edge you're going to be cold anyway so if i do that the heater's already there that's going to expand that i can build another one there and we might have to put other other heaters in, but the end, that's not the end of the world, to be honest with you. It's not the end of the world. Oh, 
Yes. Nice, I need that. And that needs a steam core as well. Needs two. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, let's definitely go for shrines. I like that more. I'm um, curious what the other, what the fill kitchens do though, because I can't remember using them. Raises temperature of nearby workplaces by one level. Okay. Interesting. So they get fed while they're at work. Okay. <laughs> so you can increase hope. <gasps> what? Mm, uh, okay. Yeah, increase. Yeah, okay. We're definitely going to build fill kitchens then. That's a brilliant perk. I love that. I've never used that before. Um, research wise, where are we going? Because I have no idea. I can't even remember half of what we've done. Right, I think what we'll do is do that and then we can build more flying hunters because we have more than enough people and then we'll do either that or well, I don't really want to employ less I just want it to go faster so we'll research the house and then we'll actually probably go for, for level four first because I want to unlock the infirmary checklist that'll hit, heal people faster right he's nearly back oh nice my robot's building houses for me awesome yeah oh we don't oh that was enough to cover it oh awesome huh okay fair enough i will take it i will take that indeed um so it's workplaces isn't it do one there um just do one there really the hunters huts don't count as workplaces that's interesting it's kind of annoying that i only covers two is there anywhere I, is there anywhere i can cover more than two i don't think there is i think that's the main one done there yeah okay let's build it right so they've come back with food that's perfect how expensive are what he steal Jeez. We are annihilating our steel works. I don't think I can build any more steel either. No, they're being used so much. Holy crap. But at least it's unlimited, so I guess that I guess that's a plus. I guess that's a plus. Right. Where do we send you? Um no signs of life, so that'll just be resources. A couple buildings. So that's I would imagine that's a coal outpost. That would be a wood outpost. Faint whist of smoke coming from a patch of deep snow. Okay, so that will be inhabited. Okay. Okay. Right. In that case, we're close to doing that. Can we speed these guys up? We already have. Damn. That's a long ass way. <laughs> okay, we won't be doing that anytime soon. What was that marker I just saw? Oh, is that because we're current? Uh, I, I've never noticed that before. That's interesting. Right. In that case, go out to Trouded Cave. It's not... She's two days and eight hours. Glad we're not going out there. Right. Go out there. That's going to be a long ass time for you to get back. I'm hoping that's going to be people and some resources. Fingers crossed. Right. Loads of food. Perfect. Um, yep. Raises hope. Nice. Not as much as it could have done, but whatever. That's fine cold at home people are hungry lack of medical care okay um so we were going to do at least 75 steel i'm going to save i'm going to save for 75 steel and get the next level because there's not a huge amount of stuff is there anything we can do that doesn't use a huge amount of steel that's worth getting right so we are upgrading the power of the main generator so that we can get the efficiency upgrade that's the plan because it only used 10 steel so it's not like literally anything and we'll get that back within like five minutes so that is a fine idea to me uh church is doing prayer yep do that and that will hopefully slowly take that up medical is rocking and rolling slowly but surely okay so we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there 
we are guessing there. We've got no grave DL, so that's perfect. Uh, is there anything else we wanted to build at the moment? Don't really want to use... Let's do that. I don't really want to use... <laughs> Um, more steam cores than I need to. I think the wood's fine. I think I don't think we have to worry about the wood too much. What is this? We're fine. We're fine. There's 43 of them. Okay. We can solve that. It's fine. Cold at home, though. 47 watts. Why? Turn that on. We have we have more than enough coal. Don't we? Yeah, we got loads of coal. Absolutely loads of coal. Right, so they're chilly. They're chilly. They're chilly. Well, do you know what? We can solve that. Let's build a uh, something. Just went. Oh yeah, it was a cooldown timer. Let's build one of those. Let's warm you up a bit. Perfect. Right. Purpose. Build kitchens. Go. Perfect. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Right. The sign. Get working. <laughs> Get working. Go, go, go. Build kitchens. Definitely one there. Definitely one there. And I don't know anywhere. I guess we put one there. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Right, day number nineteen. Jeez, and we've already been recording for nearly twenty minutes. I need to get a crack on with things. Okay, so we are using up stuff, but it's fine. Ha! You can no longer say it's cold at home. <laughs> Nice. Got another spike. I'm just gonna lower these until we get um Oh no, I don't no, I don't want them to do that. Right, turn you on. There we go. See? Nice! I like it. And we're still going up in cold. Wowza. Right, we need to start building. Um, oh no, we're going to do the research, aren't we? Unlock the research code. Do that, and then we'll do uh, another hunter's hut. And if we have the resources to do it, I'd like to start building. Well, not quite. Okay, we do. Right. I'd like to start building. Resource depots. You are most welcome. You are most welcome. I knew that was going to work well. Yes. Good job. Nice. Okay. Everything's working well. Everything is going well. We'll save that just for the moment. Why is that turn? Why was that? Oh, did I turn off the wrong thing? I think I turned off the wrong thing. Does that actually affect the... No, it doesn't. Huh. <laughs> I thought for a moment there it affected the uh, the building next to it, but that's just silly. Right. That's fine. Right. So, what I'm going to do is when it comes into the daytime, I'm going to lower this down to level 1. Because I want to save up on coal. I mean, we're going to lose people. We are going to lose people. It's going to happen. But... I, I think I can do good enough to uh, to keep people's hope going. We are not getting the faith keepers. We are not getting faith keepers. I'll do the evening prayer. I have no issue with that. But I am not doing the faith keepers. No way in hell am I doing them. Yeah, I know they're getting more. I don't care. I'm not doing the Faith Keepers. <laughs> it's just not happening. Right, nice. They're in. Right. Let's lower you down to... I'm hoping we can start upgrading. So that we don't have to worry about the double fuel usage. 
because they should go up to Liverpool. You're there, survivors. Oh my God, it's 34 children. <gasps> Holy crap. Yeah, let's escort them back. Holy moly. 34 kids escaped from Winterhome. <gasps> okay, I'm well, I'm glad we went there. 